There we go. Alright, okay, hey, how's it going everyone? Wolfie here, and welcome back to Wolfie's Art School. So one of the more important things for being a budding artist is the tools that you have at your disposal. Now, uh, for this episode, we're going to stick to paints from uh, Bold Mirror. These are the artist's choice. We have 12 acrylic colors. 12? 12 acrylic colors. Yep, that's right. Uh, and 12 millimeter tubes. And in that, we are going to get as many unique and interesting color combinations as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the little palette here. If you look really closely, you may think that those two types of yellow are actually exactly the same. But they're not really, because if, if I put them out here and you look really closely, they're actually two completely different colors. And this is the thing, this is, this is what's important about being a true artist, is you see the fine details and things. So, to start us off, the first thing we're going to try is a simple landscape. Now for landscapes, they normally have grass or maybe sand on them, so you just get your blank canvas and you just start to slowly, slowly, and very carefully just draw out a nice blank horizon and in this blank horizon you'll be able to you'll be able to do anything you want some little lines for grass there we go right across there and it'll just sort of dot the whole way down don't worry about that we have three possible colors here we're going to go ahead and create a sun mixing a little bit of green and then with that green I'm going to get the the, uh, the middle of the sun. Try and get a bit more yellow with this next one. Here we go. Draw that right around there like a little ring. Just to make it look even more realistic, look. It's making light. Try and get it like a little mouth. I can just draw a nice little mouth. There we go. A little tail feather. Looks like a sparrow. I sort of have like a, a giant there with his hands and he's ready to fight the bird. Um, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I like to call this piece uh, a summer's delight because you know what? The way the letters are arranged in that sentence is just... Yeah. So yeah, if you've been following along at home, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, uh, after this, obviously there's some there's some roughness around the edges. You're going to want to take some time and just sort of smooth it out and stuff. Um, I, which we don't have time for today, but I already did uh, off camera earlier. So um, more or less, uh, this is what you should be aiming for. You know, once you like smooth out the the sky, add some little clouds, put some more birds in. You know, you're gonna have something that looks absolutely lovely. So uh, move on to our next piece. We're gonna look at faces. The way faces work is they're more or less oval shaped. So uh, just sort of start with an oval like that. Uh, that's already looking good. Get the tip and just like run. There we go. Those are the eyes. Those are the eyes. So you want to get some nice looking eyes. Um, and then a mouth and a little smile. A smile can do wonders. We're going to do some little brush strokes right there. There we go. There you go. On the other side. Okay. Uh, the collarbones. So we're going to fill the collarbones in with red this time. So here we go. And keep the neck going on down so that the throat is visible from outside the body. We'll do the collarbones going off in tendrils. Uh, and then we'll just give the eyes a little bit of emotion and finally end it off with a little bit of red on the mouth like a, like a sort of lipstick almost there we go I mean that's art you can't really say that some art's demonic looking some art's nice looking really if you're unbiased towards art then who can tell the difference between that and that? It more or less is the same thing. I 
All right, so I hope you've been following along at home now. I have some in-house students here that have been following along as I've been going. I'm gonna go check in with their progress now and uh, see how they're doing. So, so you first of all, do you wanna explain this piece to us? Yeah, it really represents uh, how far I've come in my life. Uh, I've thought a lot about this a lot before I came here and I really wanted to represent how I felt personally. What do you think? I think it's great. I think you have a lot of positive sort of positive vibes going on here. You have um, the 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 red strikes light here. I I'm, I guess, I'm guessing that's like the the lashes of uh, our people and how like we can't really come back from this as like as a as a culture. Uh, right there, that's that's race more or less. That little man right there because he's green, he's purple, he's white, he's a bit of us all. You know what I mean? I think everyone can relate to him. So it's sort of smashing down. Those important borders right here. These squiggles are, I'm assuming this is the mind and it's sort of being plagued by like anxieties and stress. And here you have the sort of like sun-like positivity shape. It's sort of bursting through that shell of the mind and it's it's starting to alleviate those anxieties. And it's supposed to be like, like a representation of hope for the future. You know, like it's not all doom and gloom. And if you just keep going through with your problems, you know, you will come out on the other, on the other end and you'll, you'll be okay. So I, I love the piece very much. Uh, what's your name? What's your... My name is DeAndre. Ah, very good. I love the name. And what's your piece called? Uh, it's it's right here. Et tu for B. Et tu for B. I love it. It obviously it has a lot of meaning to yes, it. it does, yeah. Um, and the meaning is 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 up to the interpretation of. Um, it definitely is, of, but it also has a literal translation. Oh, what's the literal translation? I'm not well educated enough. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, moving on to our next section, we're going to look at some fan art that has been sent in from uh, from our loyal audience. Just from looking through this, I'm really impressed with, it, with what I see so far. Uh, starting off, the first picture is from um, Andrew in uh, America. Now, he's drawn, obviously. That's um, I'm, I'm thinking that that's uh, Star Fox. So he's drawn Star Fox. So well done, Andrew. Uh, the next one is coming in from um, Ryan in uh, Winnipeg. And uh, he's drawn. Now he, I th I'm pretty sure what this is is this is a dog, uh, with human memories, uh, a schoolgirl's outfit. It looks like he's made sort of some sort of a mess. Um, look, he signed it there, and uh, it says Wolfie Santa PP. So that's lovely. Yeah. Moving on to the last one, uh, we actually have a fan drawing of us um, in the studio. So is DeAndre still here? DeAndre, hey, DeAndre, so, we actually have a drawing of us in this one. Uh, this next one is um, is a, of I don't know if you've heard of boring. It's where you like swallow someone. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite, arti it's quite artistic. It's quite artistic. Um, it's where it's 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 an interest people have in swallowing a, a whole human being and keeping them intact uh, in their stomach. As you can see, you're boring me in this one. Um, now they've sort of taken some liberties with me. That my head's quite big. Uh, I have ears and a tail, but it, it would appear I'm tweaking. 